hello everyone welcome back again to my channel in this channel i'm going to show you how to make a simple a langan for the girl child it's going to be a pattern drafting on I've, I've recently opened a new channel where i'll be sewing clothes this channel is mainly for pattern drafting so guys let's get started and if you have not subscribed before please don't forget to subscribe and sh share my video and give my video a thumbs up and let's get down to the work table so in today's video i'm going to be drafting a, a ligand for a girl child of nine years old and i'll be using the measurement which i showed you at the beginning of my video so yeah i have two pattern paper this is for the front panel and this is for the back panel but in this uh in this video i'm not going to put is my zipper allowance so i will advise you if you want to put zipper allowance just put in two inches behind like this then you start drafting but me in this one i'm not going to use a zipper allowance so i'm just going to do it all straight like this and i'll be using my tape measure my curve ruler for this tutorial so let's get down to business so if you want if you are wondering how i folded this fabric i won't call it a fabric it's a pattern paper i used the child highest body measurement which is the chest round so the chest round was 27 inches and i had a one and a half inches to it for sewing allowance which gave me 28 and a half inches so what i did was i divided that with eight and a half inches by by four i got 7.1 inches so because it's an a line gun i had an extra i think extra five five and a half inches to it from here so you see it's seven seven point one so i had it one two three four five i had a five point five inches to it to cut out this pattern paper so let's get down to it so because this is a pattern paper which i will be cutting together so i'll make sure all this side is equal then i'm going to pin it you can also do the same thing on your fabric as well you just make sure you pin it and the are all equal so that's it so now I'm gonna be start drafting so the first thing I'm going to do here is to put in my shoulder to shoulder measurement for the child the shoulder to shoulder measurement for the child is 13 inches so divided by 2 what I have is 6.5 remember this is a sleeveless top so I'm going to have had five uh, Half inches to it for sewing allowance that gives me seven inches so yeah at the top here from here I'm going to put in seven inches like so then I will draw at the lines so the next step for me after I draw at my shoulder to shoulder I'll now take my neck width the neck width for this child is going to be 2.5 inches so yeah I'm going to mark at 2.5 inches like so and the neck depth I'm going to be used for the front panel is 3 inches so from here it's 3 inches like so so I'm going to draw at the curve so for the back panel the neck depth I'll be using is going to be one and a half inches so I'll go here like this I mark at one and a half inches here like so then I'll draw at the curve so here at my shoulder I'm going to come down by half an inch I'll make it one in one inches here I'll come down by one inches for the child you can either make it half an inch or one inches but I decide to make it one inches anyway so from here to there i'll draw the shoulder slope like so just straight down and also don't forget this shoulder you will need your sewing allowance for this shoulder 
so I'm going to just put in the sugar allowance so I won't forget when I'm drafting so yeah sugar allowance is half an inch this is for your to, to sew the so shoulder so I'm going to connect it from here straight down to this place that's my sewing allowance for my shoulder so the next step is to put in your ham hole the ham hole for the child I'm using today is 7 inches so yeah I'll come down by 7 inches then at this point I'm going to draw a, cross, a straight line from here to connect this line that will now serve as my chest line for the child so the next thing I'm going to do here is now to measure out the length of the gown so the length of the gown is 28 inches so I'll go at the shoulder slope here I'll measure out 28 inches so from here 28 inches here I have 28 inches so at the bottom of that 28 inches I'm going to add 1 inch to 8 that will make it 29 inches that one inch is for my sewing allowance at the bottom so now I'm going to roll it up from there straight down so how we draw out our length of the gun so the next step for me to do is to go to my ham hole to find the midpoint so on my ham hole here from here to here I have seven inches so what I'm going to do here I, I don't want to use the calculator so I want to use my tape measure to get the half of my ham hole so here is seven inches so I'm simply going to bend it like this like this So here is half and half inch um, half of the seven inches which is 3.5 so here is my mid point of my ham hole so that's my midpoint so I will come in by half an inch here here is my half an inch so my shell strand is 7.1 so I'm going to add extra one and a half inches to it, my chest strand. So yeah, my chest strand is seven inches. So I'm going to add extra one and a half inch to it from here. One and a half inches to it. So I'm going to use my curve ruler to read it out like so. Then for the back ham hole, I'll just connect this miss spot from here to there. If you if you can, you can use your free hand if you don't have your curve ruler, it's still the same thing. So I'll connect it from here like so. That will be for my back ham hole. So for the front ham hole. I'm going to connect it from this spot here, this spot, to this spot, to this spot. So, the next step we are going to do here is to now create the A-line shape for the gown. So, I'm going to show you how to create your A-line shape. So, what I'm going to do here is this. I'll go to my chest strand. This is my chest strand for the child. So, I'll put my tape measure. What I have here is nine inches, so I'll go to the bottom of the length of the black of the gun. So what I have here is nine inches, so I'm going to add extra two inches to it. So let me mark it. So, so here is nine inches. Then I had extra two inches to it. At the bottom of the gun and also at this uh, strain allowance so now that I've gotten what I want I'm going to use my long ruler my table is so small guys so sometimes a bit of bit struggle to put my long ruler properly so okay okay now okay yeah I've got it so I'm going to connect this dot from there to this place this will now create the a-line gown shape for the for the gown I'm about to make so you see the struggle here guys so so my table is a bit small so yeah 
Oh, I think I managed here. So I'm not create from here to there. You see, from this spot to this spot, you see the A-line shape comes out when I mark it out. So you can see the A-line shape has come out after I finish drawing out the lines. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to cut from here straight down this way, this way, and this way, and this way. Then I'm going to cut the back neck first. So I'll start my cutting from here, like so. Then I will cut the back ham hole first. I'll just follow the shape of the pattern. I'll cut at the back ham hole first. Then I'll cut the shoulder slope from here like so. Make sure your fabric is all together when you are cutting this. Then I'll cut the back ham hole, sorry, not ham hole, sorry, the back neck first, like so. I'll just follow the shape and cut it up from there to there. Now that I've finished trimming the back side, so I'm going to take out my pins. Take out this one, this, 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 and this. So I take this out. This one will now be my back panel. I'll put my back panel outside, then I'll put it this back. I'll put my front panel back. My front panel, I'm going to cut the front neck that out. I just follow the shape and cut. Then I'll go back to the ham hole. I'm going to cut from here deep down that way. Let me just cut it while you see it. So I'm going to cut from here like so. I'll just follow the drawing so I'll keep on cutting. So that's the so guys. I finished drafting this pattern paper. So this is the front panel. If you can see the hand goes in, and I'll keep this aside. And also, this is the back panel. This is the back panel. So, if you want to put it, I'll tell you one thing, guys. If you want to put in your, if you don't, let's say you don't use your zipper allowance, and you want to put like a button or a rope or a small slit here, what you do is this. I'll keep this aside. Go to the middle of the back. Like say, this is the middle. Then. What you do here, measure at 10 inch, uh, not 10 inch, 4 inches from the middle of the back panel. Go down by 10 inch, uh, 4 inches. I keep saying 10 inches, I don't know why, sorry. I go down by 4 inches, like so. 4 inches. Or you can go down by 5 inches. By 5 inches. Then you simply take a cut there. Let's say if you don't want to use a, zip, a zipper at the back, take a cut and just cut. You see from here, from there, you can see the opening there. So, let me take this outside. I don't know if you can see it properly. When you open it up like this, this is the back panel. You can see the A shape. A like gun shape for the, for, the, for the young girls. And you can see the slits here. So, that's if you don't want to use the power allowance. Just open it up by 5 inches. I prefer 5 inches actually because it's more deeper. Five inches, and you can just attach your hook 
your your hook here and your body here to cover it up so guys i hope you like this tutorial if you do please don't forget to subscribe and share my video and don't forget to give my video a thumbs up so see you on my next video for now one peace one love and bye for now and also i'll be showing you my new channel which i will be starting soon where i mostly do most of my sewing in that new channel so for now one love don't forget to subscribe bye for now